Wow, there's a lot of news to unpack here, guys. I'm going to start off with one of the big things is that Final Shape apparently is being reported that it will be delayed to June or late June of 2024 from its initial release date of February 2024. That is one of the biggest delays that we have seen yet. Of course, if you haven't known with Beyond Light, Shadow Keep, and the Witch Queen, all those three expansions got delayed. Witch Queen being a bit, I think, three months. Beyond Light being a, a whole two months. And then Shadow Keep being a whole two weeks. So this would be the longest delay. Right now, nothing has been absolutely confirmed by, you know, Bungie themselves. But it's being reported by an individual called Jason who has broke the news to us prior to Bungie's announcement if they are going to delay the, you know, Final Shape expansion. On the time that Bungie might, you know, talk about this, we could see it be tonight, we could see it be tomorrow, we could even see it be on the TWAB, which is this upcoming Thursday, that they could release a huge newsletter, like a sort of a state of the game, basically saying, okay, guys, we need to delay the Final Shape. Now, I want to talk about something real quick before I get back into that, being that right now I'm seeing a lot of people say, or reporting from Bungie that a lot of people are getting laid off by the studio and this is kind of something that I don't I don't like the taste of because apparently recently along oh well, you know we've we've seen a Bungie been hiring a lot of new staff in the last couple of years with all the new studios that they've been opening up a lot of new th you know job positions looking at the TV media section with the acquisition by Sony we were in a uh, spot where we were just going to get more people into the quote-unquote family if you will add more people into those positions and just keep on going from there but now seeing that Bungie is looking at laying off so many of these people you can see on twitter that people have been laid off after working at bungie for two to three four years and they're not sure what to do and people are like going on lincoln trying to find new positions obviously for you know them because this is sort of their living this is what you know this is how they make money of course obviously if you live and all that you know type of jazz you know so to see this it, it it really was you know very you know sort of unexpected to me and then to see that Bungie is delaying the final shape too it's just it's weird because it's like okay we're laying off all these people but we're still going to delay the final shape because it's just it's just not something you usually see you either you see either the, like vice versa we don't have as much people to work on an expansion or a, a release of content or like oh we have so many people, but we're going to have to push it back. You know, it's just a weird, you know, unfortunate taste. And I don't really understand the entire, like, thing that's going on at Bungie right now. People are like, what's happening at Bungie right now? Because they're not sure really how to understand the situation of people being laid off and upcoming releases being delayed and the studio, you know, being in this weird, difficult position. It's also being hinted that Marathon is aiming for a 2025 release date as well, so that also brings us to another discussion if Bungie will actually look at making another expansion for After the Final Shape. It looks like it might not happen uh, if they're going to release Marathon in 2025. Maybe it will. Again, it's two different games. But right now, we really need to look ahead at, you know, what is going on with Bungie. Because if you do actually see that if Marathon is to be released in 2025 and Final Shape is delayed till June, remember, we still have the three episodes. And I don't think Bungie will actually get rid of those. Those will continue but start at a later date. And those will carry us into 2025. And maybe during that time, Bungie will just aim on making more episodes and then Marathon will come out. But... Just to go back to the point, Final Shape being delayed, man, it's just like, I understand it completely. I actually made a video a couple months saying that we should maybe delay the Final Shape, but I wasn't expecting this big of a delay. But I'm hoping if this is to be true, again, yet nothing has been, you know, totally confirmed by Bungie, that they really focus on this expansion to make it like 80 times better than Lightfall. Not two times is better, not three times is better, like 80. Lightfall was a complete, you know, you know, failure to my eyes. The quality of life changes, the gameplay was amazing. But the story itself and the conduct within it was not, you know, incentivizing me as a player who's been playing this game for almost a decade. And it wasn't, you know, bringing me to the good old, you know, Destiny 1, you know, times. And now with the layoffs and with the delay... Bungie, I only hope that this is sort of the direction you had to take. I don't know if this was at all, but if this is where we're going, 
then you have to make Final Shape, you know, one of the best expansions. And this affects me because I don't even know if what I'm doing for the next couple of months. Of course, I was aiming on making videos through Season 23, maybe some other games, and then get right into the Final Shape. Now, if this is going to be delayed till June, I have no idea, no clue what I'm going to do because there's no plan if there's going to be an extra season or an extra DLC or, like, an anniversary pack in Season 23. So that just gives me less content to cover, so I'm kind of in a very difficult situation. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys.